So although I do have a ton of sneakers still in my collection after selling a bunch of my shoes, I still regret selling five pairs of those shoes and I wanted to cover those five in this video. What is going on guys, Has here, collectivekicks.com and I wanted to bring you guys my top five Tuesday list this week of the top five pairs of sneakers that I regret selling part two. I guess this is the one after my big sale that I ended up selling a lot of my sneakers. There's definitely five that I regret letting go. Kind of feels like ghost limb syndrome in a sense where I still have a ton of sneakers in here and I'm used to having a room down the, the hall that has the rest of my shoes. And then when I go in there, I'm like, I don't have those, I don't have these sneakers anymore in my possession. So that's why I decided to do this video. If you guys do have future top five Tuesday video suggestions, leave a comment in the comment section. We'd love to see what you guys would recommend. One of the future top five Tuesday videos that I plan on covering is the top five shoes for rain. Somebody asked for that and since I'm in Oregon, I figured it'd be a good one to cover. But if you have other ones, just leave a comment in the comment section as well. But let's go ahead and get into this video. Top five pairs of sneakers that I regret selling uh, recently. Here we go. So starting off at number five, we have the Shattered Backboard One Double Up actually triple up. I ended up selling two of my pairs that I had of these. I only have one left. And look at what graces the bottom of this one. Man, that drives me nuts, man. When you step in, there's nothing worse than stepping in some weird garbage crap on the bottom of your shoes like that. I should have been using my Rejuvenator to clean these up. I'll plan on doing that after this video. Shout out to the plug though, Rejuvenator. If you guys don't shop at Rejuvenator, you can save 10% off of your order if you use code HESKIX in the website to so go shop over at Rejuvenator sneaker cleaning products and somebody should come over and clean my shoes for me they're like right the stuff is right there i just need to clean them anyway kind of bummed i ended up selling my double up and triple up of these definitely would have been good to have a pair of these on ice for the future i see the price is skyrocketing on these which is kind of crazy because it's just a color that most people don't really relate to but this colorway for me is just super super sick with the orange and the black and the cream Obviously the quality of these were amazing. So I definitely regret selling my double up of these, triple up of these. And I wish I would have kept those extra two pairs for the future because I don't know when we're gonna get an Air Jordan 1 that is of equal quality as these ones. These ones were just amazingly nice. So definitely regret letting this one go. Was that number five or number one? I don't know where I started. I'm gonna go with number four next. And that is the Adidas Ultra Boost V1 triple white colorway. I had so many pairs of those triple whites uh, and I actually did an unboxing video. I pissed a lot of you guys off because I bought a bunch to resell because I got 40% off. I actually had a 40% off coupon for those triple white V1s that actually worked with the pairs that restocked. So I ended up getting like five pairs and I sold every one of them. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I definitely wish I kept one of them because I had quite a few pairs of those and uh, and the white ones are just amazing. I would have, I, at this point, I really wish I would have kept more of the ones or gotten more of the V1 patterns. We didn't know if Adidas was gonna be releasing more patterns going forward or what they were planning. I had a, an opportunity to get a lot of the V1s because back in the day, they were sitting at the Adidas employee store, didn't sell out. The V1 uh, OG colorway was sitting at the employee store for months and months and months. The original black and blue colorway was actually sitting at the outlets as well. And I did some outlet videos back in the day when they were sitting at retail and people weren't buying them, but um, but I, they were sitting at half price and people weren't buying them also. So kind of crazy and I definitely regret not picking up the Volt colorway, the OG blue colorway, and the orange colorway specifically. I've always wanted that one, but also the V1 triple white. That was one that I did have in my collection and I regret selling because it is one that I, I just wish I had now. So moving on to the number three spot, Kind of an interesting one, kind of a random one. It was one that people loved and hated, and then it released, it was more limited, so people loved it, of course. But one that I, looking back, I'm like, damn it, I wish I wouldn't have sold those ones, and that is the Fresh Prince Air Jordan 5s. A fun fact for you guys, if you guys did not know, the theme song to Fresh Prince of Bel Air, the actual name of that, go ahead and leave a comment if you know it. And then, now that you left that comment, I'll tell you what it is. It's Yo Homes of Bel Air. It's actually the official title to that song from the tape cassette or whatever back in the day. I always thought it was like the Fresh Prince theme song, but it's actually not called that. Kind of uh, interesting to note. But anyway, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Air Jordan 5s. Although it didn't really scream Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I wish they could have done more of the theme. Like after releasing, I kind of look back and I'm like, yeah, I appreciate the theme more and more. The fact that it was um, like has those electric colors and, and whatnot, I just, I don't know. It's just something about them is like, reminiscent of the 90s and it was the last 
one of the last really good themed Air Jordans that I can think of that really like has some sticking value to, to a kid of the 90s. And that's the reason why I regret letting mine go. But the prices on them aren't too crazy. So maybe I'll be able to get uh, another one of those back in the collection eventually. All right, so moving on to the number two spot goes to a pair of the LeBrons that I had in my collection. And that is the AZG uh, first games. And if you guys don't know, Air Zoom Generation is what they call the LeBron ones. It was no LeBron one. It was the Air Zoom Generation. And the one that I had was the first game inside of the shoe it actually had embroidered in the shoe, the date of his first game. It is known that LeBron didn't actually wear this colorway for his first game. He wore a different colorway, the black and white colorway, not the, the first game colorway. But at the end of the day, it's one of those shoes that commemorates the great athlete that LeBron James is and his introduction into the NBA and um, introduction into Nike as well. So they did end up re-releasing that shoe last year, but it's one that they did a really small release on. So the hype is still there on that shoe. Regardless of any of the hype, I just really wish I would have kept it just because it was the first LeBron shoe that I had. Kind of bittersweet that I let it go. And the number one spot goes to the Air Jordan 7 CDP samples. These were pretty fresh looking, man. And there were actually the original samples that were supposed to go in the countdown packs but they ended up getting replaced with the Hair 7s instead, which a lot of people like the Hair 7s. This alternate to the Countdown Pack though was never released. It's a pretty nice colorway, white and black and red. My fear was if I kept it for longer periods of time, the white would have just ended up turning to yellow. And I don't know, I just didn't really want a yellow sneaker like that. So I ended up letting it go, but it was one of those shoes that I regret letting go of just because it was a one of one. Like nobody had those shoes. It was very, very, um, rare to come across and because of that you know I have a couple other ones that are like that still but that was one where I'm like ah oh, man I wish I would have kept those ones and and anytime I think about oh yeah I'm gonna go grab those I'm like oh, I can't do it now so at the end of the day I'm happy to have owned those sneakers though and any of the sneakers that I actually ended up selling and I'm proud that I ended up um, selling them to hopefully people that actually uh, really do appreciate the sneakers and we we gave pretty good prices on most of the shoes uh, for when we sold a lot of those ones. So definitely something that I'm glad to have washed my hands with. And again, selling those sneakers paid off all of my student loan debt, all of my wife's student loan debt, and it paid off her new car. And so we're literally debt free at this point. Um, I'm saving more than ever and all jump started, sparked it because I sold a lot of these sneakers that I own in my collection. So material possessions are fun to have, but they're not everything uh, focusing on the family and happy to be able to do that but i thought it'd be fun to do this video on five shoes that i regret selling out of that haul that i ended up getting rid of over 400 pairs or something like that of shoes but that is the video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did hit the thumbs up button appreciate you guys for stopping by the channel and again leave some comments if you have future suggestions for top five tuesday videos and check the screen at this time if you guys want to see other videos on my channel that's it thank you guys for watching peace guys